Hello and welcome to another vlog. Today is Monday and I am actually heading to the hospital right now to learn how to do suturing. I'm so excited. So this event is coordinated by a medical club through my school and it's surgical residents that are showing us how to do these new techniques. So I'm really looking forward to it. I hope I learned something. So I got off at the wrong bus stop, which is like, whatever, what's new? But then I saw Miniso. Miniso is amazing. One, because it's like super inexpensive and the stuff is really nice. So I bought this eye warming mask. Hello, so I'm home from the suturing workshop. It was so much fun. Time flew by so fast. We learned how to do simple interrupted stitches, which were super fun. I will put a picture here that was also in the video. And then we learned how to do single handed knots. They were kind of confusing, so yeah. Alrighty, well it's 9.30, what do you know? And I have done absolutely nothing except for tie knots. <laughs> Alright. Good night, world. Good morning, today is Tuesday. I'm just working on some stuff right now. Usually I get Tuesday mornings off to study slash sleep in. But today I have to be at the hospital at 8 because we are meeting with our portfolio coach. Oh, excuse me. And then in the afternoon, I have family practice. So I'm just reviewing a lecture from yesterday. I have my notes here, as well as my iPad notes over here. It is all about pancreatic exocrine function. So I am at the hospital. It is noon, so I'm heading to family practice. We were supposed to have a portfolio session with a doctor who like facilitated but there was a scheduling miscommunicado so he was in clinic instead of... Ah, it's so loud here. He was in clinic instead of working with us. Anyways, like I get it. I'm not the most organized and these things happen. It just really, really sucked having to wake up at like... 6 in the morning, get there like 7.45, and then 8.10, we get an email, and it's like, oh, sorry, he's not coming. Hello. <laughs> Hello, there's a wall there. <laughs> I'm just at the medical student lounge by the hospital, hanging out, just did a suturing workshop. It was so cool! Before that, I did a choir, so this was the second suture workshop in a row. I think it built on the last one really nicely. They were completely unrelated, but I learned a new technique tonight, and I think tonight we just had more time to sort of independently explore these techniques. So I will show you what I did. So this one is called Simple Interrupted. So there's like a stitch here. You tie it, you cut it, and then you repeat and you keep going. Um, this, although it looks a lot like human skin, it's actually pork, which is really weird. Um, yeah, apparently pork is the most similar to humans. And then here, this is called the mattress stitch. Um, and it's used for like when you want the tissue to be like tenting up. Suturing is kind of like addictive. You get into it and then they're like, okay, time's up. Everybody go home, throw out your fork. And I'm like, ah, I just want to do this all night. Let me suture. So, yeah, it was fun. I really like it. I like the hands-on aspect. So, yeah, another fun night. So, unfortunately today I did not really get any studying done, which sucks because the final is getting closer and closer and closer and I'm getting more and more and more behind. Eh, anyways, whatever, that's life. You gotta live life, right? Um, speaking of which, 
just want to share a piece of advice which has been super useful for me and it is stay in your own lane. I think this is so applicable to being in med school. Basically what this means is don't compare yourself to others. Don't be looking around at what everyone else is doing. Focus on you because the reality is nobody is doing it all and you have to do things that you enjoy if you're going to like avoid burnout. But because so much of our lives is so similar, like eight to five, we're essentially doing the same thing all day, every day as everyone else in our class. It's super easy to compare yourself to other people. It's so easy to sit back and be like, oh my gosh, this person's going to a research conference. This person just published. This person's going on a trip. Yeah, it's just like, oh my gosh, I'm not doing all of these things, but nobody's doing it all. So yeah, yeah you gotta like focus on you because if you compare yourself to others, I feel like it's the same effect as social media, just seeing like the highlights of people's lives. It gets you down. Uh, I don't know, just like do your thing, do what you enjoy. Um, I'm so glad that I'm doing choir. It's something that I really enjoy. It's a great way to just get out of the med school fog and feel productive and just have a life. Um, yeah, and like going to these suturing workshops, so much fun. It's like this little insight into something that I might be doing in the future. Stay happy, don't compare yourself to others. Do what makes you feel satisfied at the end of the day and don't sweat it if you have an unproductive day. Maybe this is more advice to myself than anyone else, but I'm gonna head home now because it's getting real late. <laughs> Good morning, today is Wednesday. Alrighty, finished my November bullet journal. This month's theme is tea, so it's getting pulled out. Just left a page blank here for notes. And then my monthly calendar is all these little tea bags. And then I have my normal weekly spread with the days as little tea bags with a little string. Hello. <laughs> So I just had a nap. <laughs> uh, yes. So I went to. Okay, I'm just gonna take this eye mask off. It's very comfy and very warm. But anyways, um, I went to the anatomy lecture and that was good in the hood. Learned some stuff, but I was just so tired. And then the next lecture was radiology. And honestly, for me personally, I don't find the lecture setting the best way to learn radiology. At this point, a lot of it is like identifying structures. So for me, I think a more effective thing is to look at different images and sort of self quiz yourself. And at this point, the abdominal radiology stuff is pretty straightforward. It's like, this is the pancreas, this is the liver, these are the kidneys, this is the spleen. And because each organ is very like discreet and it has a different density, it's in my opinion, like quite easy to see compared to some other things, whereas something like radiology of the breast, I found that a lot more challenging because you have all these different contrasts and it's kind of hard to tell what you're looking at. There's not really like um, clear borders. So anyways, I had a nap. But now I have to go to the anatomy lab. So anatomy lab is done, it was actually pretty confusing. The gut is like very, very different from the diagrams, let's just say that. Anyways, uh, brain feels fried, I'm gonna go for a walk and buy some groceries. Hello, today is Friday. I'm home for lunch. I have an afternoon of lectures and then after that um, we're flying to 
my hometown as part of what's called a site visit because our medical school has different sites around the province. So yeah, I'm going to eat my food, hopefully um, pack some stuff and then decide whether I want to go to lecture or stay here and kind of learn things on my own. Good morning, today is Monday. I just got back from CBL. I'm gonna work on the lectures from home today. I just think it's a better fit for my learning at this point. Um, yeah, anyways, we had new CBL groups this week. I really miss my old groups. Um, yeah, the energy was definitely really tense in this one. It's always a challenge sort of finding where you belong in a new group dynamic as well as just becoming a cohesive group. And unfortunately, I think in this group, we do have one person that is extremely aggressive, jumps in, interrupts, speaks over people. And yeah, I just really feel for the people that are really quiet and quite introverted because those individuals really didn't get an opportunity to speak. And the other thing is when there is an aggressive person in the group, I do find that myself I try to match that energy because I'm like they're speaking so much I need to get words in and then I speak too much and it further exacerbates the problem of not allowing people that are quieter but have a lot of knowledge um just not allowing them to speak so yeah I hope it improves um because we just need to be professional and we need to collaborate but right now it seems like we're competing so I'm just making a bunch of inky flashcards for the histology final. <sighs> kind of regretting not going to lab slash not paying attention in lab when I was there for basically the entire year and prepping for this final. I think I will be paying for it. <sighs> so Anki is this neat little flashcard app. And something you can do is you can take images. So let's take this image. And then you can blank out different labels. And then what it does is it creates these flashcards like this. So the red one is what it's quizzing you on. And then you click show answer at the bottom. It shows you that this is keratin and then you rank it on easy, medium, or hard. And then the program will show it again to you um, more often if you rank it as harder. Good evening. So today is Tuesday and I did an absolutely terrible job of vlogging today. Mostly because my phone was almost dead and it actually died halfway through the day. Anyways, I will just give you a quick little overview of what my Tuesday looked like. So earlier in this vlog, there was this thing that happened where we were supposed to have portfolio at 8 in the morning, but our portfolio coach didn't realize that that was the day, so they just straight up didn't show up. Anyways, it was rescheduled for today. So they were there and the session ran. Everyone who was supposed to be there was there. So that was nice. And then afterwards I went out to family practice. Um, my preceptor actually invited me to a dinner where it's like a talk about the multidisciplinary approach to management and treatment of diabetes, as well as a review and discussion of a paper that's going to be published on November 11th that is a review of a drug that is new in Canada for the treatment of diabetes. So I have a week to decide whether I want to go. Um, I think it would be a really, really wonderful learning opportunity. Um, it definitely does push me out of my comfort zone um, just because this is a talk that is geared towards healthcare practitioners and I'm literally like two months into med school. I just feel very underqualified. I didn't learn very much about diabetes in my undergrad, so as far as the discussion part, I don't know if I can contribute and I don't know if my knowledge is at the level where I could actually get like a lot out of it, but I think right now my gut is saying I should go. So that might be in next week's vlog. Uh, we shall see. I will keep you posted. 
And then after family practice, I went to choir and we have a performance next Friday. Um, so I will have to work a little bit harder on memorizing the <laughs> words to the songs. Yeah, so that was my day. I'm home now and I am just going to finish working on the vlog for tomorrow and do a bit of prep for tomorrow. I've got some readings and some CBL. Anyways, you've made it this far. You've made it to the end of the vlog. Thank you so much for watching. If you're enjoying these videos, please, please, please subscribe and share this video with anyone who you think may find it useful or entertaining. And I will be back next week. Bye for now.